Hello survivors, today I'm bringing you a new battle royale game, the Battlefield 5 Firestorm. This video will teach you the basics of the game and hopefully help you score some victories. For those who are interested, this is not a free game, this is a Battlefield 5, so you will need to buy Battlefield 5 to play this battle royale. As always, there is a couple of levels to each weapon and each equipment type. There are three levels in this battle royale, a level 1 green one, a level 2 blue and level 3 purple. Each one of them makes weapon or equipment better in some way. For example, a higher level may provide better magazine capacity or improved bullet penetration and some extra attachments. Backpacks will give you more slots and so on. I'll have detailed lists in the description down below of every weapon and equipment and every tier so you can get a closer look. There are five primary weapon types in this battle royale and you can have two at a time. Shotguns, submachine guns, machine guns, rifles and sniper rifles. There are also five secondary weapons and ten melee weapons. You obviously have some equipment as well. Backpacks that increase your inventory slots by two, four and six. Healing items that heal you or your teammates and of course armor vests, level 1, 2 and 3. You also have a bunch of ammo, so you have rifle ammo, sniper ammo, shotgun ammo, machine gun ammo, submachine gun ammo, pistol ammo and then you have light and heavy ammo for vehicles and towables. This battle royale has a lot of vehicles including tanks. That's why sometimes in the world you will find a bunch of throwables or rocket launchers that will destroy those tanks. You can find most of the equipment of course on the floor just inside the buildings, but there is also a strong box, it's basically a loot box that will yield three random items, weapons, healing or gadgets. Items may vary from common to epic. There are also safes that take a bit longer to open, but they have a chance to spawn higher to your loot. There are also resupply points marked by the big kite balloons and everyone will be notified when they become available. Once captured the supply crates will be unlocked awarding rare and epic loot. There are also bunkers that contain tanks and epic tier loot. To open them you will need to turn two big valves all the way through. You can enter by turning only one but you need both to get the tank out. In the middle of turning the valves, the alarm will go off, letting everyone know the bunker is being accessed. Couple things to know, supply drops from a flare gun contains weapons, healing items and gadgets. Vehicle drop will drop a random transport, possibly an attack vehicle. You also have an artillery strike in this game, which is, well, artillery strike. V1 rocket is a huge as mother rocket. It's literally gonna kill everyone. Also random supply drops will be marked by green smoke. Don't forget that in this game you can lie down in the bushes or behind the trees. This makes an excellent cover and you can just stay hidden and snipe everyone. Thank you guys for watching, I'm sorry for the lack of proper footage with examples, however you can find a lot of details in the description down below. Check out other videos and consider subscribing, I post videos every single week. I'll see you guys in the next one.